All right, so it's the morning of our coldest camping trip yet. Um, it got down to like 22 degrees, I believe, last night. With it being 22 degrees, the canvas holds the heat in a lot better. Um, but we have the big buddy Mr. Heater, and I don't think we would have been warm enough if we had the small, just single pane burner. And I'll show you what I mean about single pane and big buddy heater and stuff like that. So this is our Mr. Heater Big Buddy. So you can buy ones. See how there's two panes, those little white things right there, one of them's lit up. Um, that's what the small one has, is just one of those. So with the Big Buddy, you can actually fire it up and ignite both panes. And we ran it with both panes all night long, and it kept us just toasty enough. So. Um, if you have the big 10 by 14 canvas tent from Kodiak, you might consider getting the, the big buddy. And then I don't like mine just sitting on the ground. And so I was searching and searching forever for something to kind of prop it up, not too high, so that it um, sends all the heat to the roof, but just high enough to where it's, you know, if a blanket was to fall down or a sleeping bag or something, it slides underneath it. So I found this little camp grill that's designed to go over a campfire and cook on at Walmart for like 25 bucks and it's perfect. Um, the other thing I invested in, I know these Mr. Heaters are uh, safe to go in tents and they have like carbon monoxide sensors that are supposed to kick in and turn off if it senses them. Um, but we invested in just one of these carbon monoxide sensors just to be safe. You know, it'll alarm if it senses any. So. Um, it's awesome. If you're going to do colder camping or even like we camp in the middle of the summer in Idaho and sometimes it starts snowing or something like that, this is a must have for your Kodiak tents or really any tent. We used it in our old um, Coleman tent, so worth the investment. Um, I'll also show you how we hook ours up to a larger propane bottle so you don't have to worry about um, it running out of gas in the middle of the night and you freeze out. So this is our setup here. We bought a little adapter that goes to a full-size propane tank. And then the hose is like 12 feet long, which is nice. So if you come in our tent, you can see we kind of got our setup here. Sorry, it's a mess. We all just woke up. But then the hose comes around. And so if you don't have the hose, it's okay. You can actually put those little propane bottles they just connect in right there if you have the hose there's another little connection that just is a snap one just kind of slide it up locks into place um, until you get that though nice thing about this one versus the small one too is you do have the option of running double propane bottles so but like I said save yourself the trouble and just invest in the um, the line, I think it's like 30 bucks, but trust me, it's well worth it. Um, to fire it up, it's pretty simple. You're gonna take your knob here, run the pilot, and then let it sit on the pilot for just a minute. I like to let it kind of warm up, and then you're gonna slip it right over to low, and it'll fire up and ignite the uh, pane on the left side. So let it fire up and you'll see it'll start to turn orange. You can start to feel a lot of heat from it. It's already really hot. Um, and then once that one's glowing orange, and you'll know when it's fully lit, it's, it's completely engulfed, it's completely orange. Then you just take this and you have the option. So I got it on low right now. Medium is going to fully kick that one up like you see there. Give it a second longer here. And then you can fire up the second one. And, when you, and you want to run it to high like it is now, that's when it's gonna kick in the second plate. And just like the other one, it starts to slowly turn orange and then you'll feel more heat. But that's kind of the function of the big buddy heater. The other option it does have is you can throw some batteries in here and this little button right here 
kicks on a little fan that circulates the heat a little more. Um, we don't use it a lot. I actually forget it's there sometimes, um, but that is an option if you need to circulate the heat a little bit more. But big buddy heater, the stand, it's perfect for winter camping or even in the summer when it gets cold. So we made it home from our trip and we stayed nice and toasty warm because of our little heater buddy here. Um, we got everything packed away, but one of the features I didn't realize was so nice about this heater buddy is when we set up our tent during winter camping, it snowed on it and the snow turned to ice because it got so cold, you know, the low 20s. We were worried that the next day when we went to take our tent down, it was going to be wet canvas and we were going to have to reset it up at home and let it dry out and just sounded like a nightmare. Well, the heater buddy kept the tent nice and warm and it melted all the ice and the canvas was completely dry in the morning. And when the sun came out, it was a sloshy, muddy mess in the campground. Everything was wet, but like I said, the tent was completely dry. We were able to tear it down, pack it away, and now it's ready for our next adventure sitting here on the shelf.